Hello, what is up everyone? So recently I came across this really amazing thing which is React Native for Windows. So now we can create Windows apps with React Native. Earlier we just we could just create iOS and Android apps. Now we can do Windows and Mac OS as well. So I just thought I would do a couple of videos on how to get started with React Native development for Windows. The first thing we need is, of course, we need a React Native project. So I've already created one here. To create one, you just have to use the command React Native in it and then your project name. So in my case, it was RN Windows. And just run this command. This will create a new React Native project for you. If you don't have React Native CLI installed as a global dependency, then you would have to do npx React Native in, in it. So that's about creating a normal React Native project, but I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about React Native before you're getting into Windows. So the next thing I need to do is I, I'll look at this development dependencies. So when I go here in development dependencies, I have these dependencies mentioned right here. So when I go into my Visual Studio installer, here in build tools, I have these options which I need to install. So from workload, I, workloads, I need universal windows platform. So I have universal windows platform. That's this one right here. And I also need the C++ build tools. So I have that here as well. So I need to install both of these. In my case, I already have these installed. And I also need uh, Node.js build tools. They've mentioned it as optional, but I would recommend you to just install it if you can. So once all of this is installed, we are ready to do um, React Native development for Windows. So coming back to our command line, let me just go inside my app that I've just created, my React Native app. And if you see here, I have all the standard React Native boilerplate code. So the next thing I need to do here to support Windows is I need to give the command react native Windows in it. And because this is a new project, I don't need the overwrite flag. But if you're trying to um, integrate react native Windows in, in an existing react native project, you should use the overwrite flag as well. So in my case, I don't need this at all. So I'm just going to go with React Native Windows in it. And once again, I will need NPX here. So it's NPX React Native Windows in it. And when I hit enter, this is going to add support for React Native Windows in this project, which is RN Windows, this project right here. So let me uh, come back when all of this is done. This is going to take some time. So Let's wait for it to finish and I'll see you after this is done. So this is done now. It actually gave me an option at some point which asked me whether I want to replace my Metro config file. And I just hit yes in a, uh, in a new project. It doesn't really matter much because I hadn't made any changes to the file. So now that we've uh, done React Native Windows in it, we are actually ready to run this app on our Windows machine and as it mentions here the command to do so is npx react native run windows and in my case I don't need the npx because I've already installed react native CLI as a global dependency so I'm just going to go with react native run windows and this is just going to uh, open the app in my on my Windows machine itself so once again this command is going to take quite some time uh, especially the first time that I run it, it will take much longer than uh, subsequent runs. So while this is going on, I just want to tell you that I'm not really planning on making this a series. Um, I'm just going to make a couple of more videos to get you started with React Native uh, Windows development. But if you want me to make this a series, feel free to put it in the comment section. And if the video help you, uh, don't uh, do make sure to give the give it a like subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends who are also doing react native 
Once again, let's wait for this command to finish. Alright, so my command finished running and as you can see in the background, I have the React Native application open right here. And this is the same template that they provide which opens on our Android or iOS devices as well when we just make a new React Native application and run it right away. So this actually looks pretty good. And that's it for this introductory video. In the next one, we'll look at some simple stuff that we can do with this React Native application. We'll look at how we can navigate between screens. So I'll see you there. Don't forget to mention in the comments if the video helped, if you, if you liked it, and do give it a like. I'll see you next time.